Welcome to another photography video everyone and today I'm hoping to photograph orchids and any other flowers, hopefully some insects as well. So I've got my Canon 1DX, my Canon 100mm f2.8 macro lens, that's the lens I'm going to be using and whatever I find I'm going to show you the setup, I'm going to take you through exactly what I do from finding it to the final images and show you the camera settings as well. Uh, literally right next to the path. If you can see it down here, pyramidal orchid. This one is oh, it's like six inches off the path, which is perfect for photography. Um, the only problem I've got is the wind. <coughs> Excuse me, the, the wind is a bit frustrating. It's supposed to be about seven miles an hour. Um, however, I'm kind of at the top of a bank here. Uh, and what happens sometimes, I think, is the wind can kind of come over the top if it's from that direction. And it can actually be windier than you expect. So might have a bit of problem with the orchid moving in the wind but we'll just have to deal with that um, so this is going to be perfect because it means i need to get down low to it that's the number one thing got to get down low preferably lying down and because it's so close to the path it means i can actually lie down almost along the length of the path and i'm going to be able to photograph it close up Yes, this is absolutely the best angle, no doubt about it. It's a little bit more separated from the grasses behind it. This is a gorgeous angle. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I know it's gonna look good, I can just tell. Um, I'm just gonna take a test shot. So I've got ISO 800 f5.6, just as a general aperture. I've put the ISO up, so I'll get a fast shutter speed because it's literally just that, a test shot. Um, I'm going to try and get as side on as I can. Uh, I do want that side on, sort of fairly clean, straightforward portrait of this orchid. So I don't want to be down here, I don't want to be up here. I actually want to be straight on as much as possible. So, a simple test shot. I'm going to go a little closer. Okay, looking really good. Background's coming out really quite clean on f5.6. I'll just put up the test shot on the screen so you can see the first image that I've taken. I'm having a look to see if the light looks nice and even on the orchid and it does look pretty good. However, the actual stem and just sort of towards the bottom of the orchid uh, it's not really catching the light enough and that's simply because you know the lights up here and underneath is always going to be more in shades. If you watched the last video I showed you a few little accessories I use and one of those is a reflector so I am definitely going to use the reflector and I'm just going to put that uh, here I think and then it's just going to boost a little bit of light back. Got the reflector in place now and I can really see it making a difference, particularly on the stem of the orchid. It's making a massive difference actually. Uh, again, just taking another test shot. The angle I'm shooting means that I've got this little bit of grass in. Uh, it's like a light piece of grass, just slightly showing up in the background. and It's definitely distracting, so I'm just going to move that out of the way. So that's another of my accessories used, the, uh, the scissors. Right, have a look now. Oh, wow. I've shot everything at 800, so I, this is the big decision now. So the decision now to make is what aperture to use, uh, what ISO, and how slow a shutter speed I'm willing to go down to. In terms of camera support, I'd like to be on the tripod, but it's just not that practical, even if I put it if I put the tripod totally flat, it's just going to take up too much room. I'm going to end up encroaching on the flowers off the path. I think the best option in this case is to hand hold and just use your elbows as camera support. That's what I'm doing. Just use both your elbows and that's going to be your support for the camera. I'm going to stick with an aperture of f5.6. Happy with the background. I've gone down to ISO 400. So I don't want to shoot at 800, I'm going to get better quality if I go to a lower ISO. Uh, but if I go too low, then the shutter speed's going to get a bit too low 
for the combination of hand holding and any movement in the wind from the uh, from the orchid. ISO 400 is giving me a shutter speed of about 160th of a second and when the plant's slow enough when it's staying still as it is right now I think that's going to be plenty fine. <laughs> go in a bit closer um, oh, just to fill the frame even more I'm just taking one picture at a time that's all I'm doing I'm taking a shot and I'm just tweaking the focus so I'm taking a shot tweaking the focus and that's because I'm trying to be as accurate as I can and I find a good way of that is actually to focus and refocus and then focus again. There's a few different petals so I'm just slightly varying the focus. Oh, I decided to get up. I was getting a bit too uncomfortable down there. I take the light very seriously, the lighting conditions for macro photography and the forecast for most of the day was for it to be cloudy which it is and you can see up there it's just like it's literally a huge blanket of cloud uh, pretty much from horizon to horizon, which is absolutely perfect. And if you can combine that with really low winds, then you're going to have some good conditions. I would love to come back here on a, on a damp day or after a rain shower to come back and get some water droplets on the orchids and any other flowers would be absolutely fantastic. So hopefully I'll get a chance to do that in the next week or so. If you want to see more videos like this one of me out in the field photographing flowers, then click this link up here. There's a white throat singing. Uh, if you're not subscribed, then click the subscribe button up here. Or well, please make sure you click the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. And from this absolutely beautiful little location close to home, I will say thank you for watching and I'll see you somewhere in nature sometime soon. I just saw marbled white. Oh my god, that's the first marbled white I've seen. That's why I came here in the first place. First marble white. Wow. I know I'm such a kid, such a big kid.